These cars follow a simple formula and are all the better for it. Four-wheel drive roadsters powered by charismatic six-cylinder engines. And that's it. They're designed solely for driving pleasure. And you get a suntan at the same time. So, which is better? The American-built BMW Z4 has been around for four years. Its swoopy styling makes it the best-looking Beamer you can buy. This 3-litre version costs 33 grand and produces 265 horsepower. The BMW is impressive, but in comparison, the Nissan 350Z sounds like a superhero. Its 3.5-litre V6 comes with another 50 horsepower, and even in GT spec, it's nearly 2.5 grand cheaper. So you'd think it was a done deal. The cheaper, more powerful car has to be the one to go for. Except the Nissan has been at the pies and it's a bit heavier. So before we do our usual set of performance tests, we've got to even things up a bit. Fair enough. So uh, how much do you weigh, Tiff? Oh, 12 stone. I've always been 12 stone. <laughs> 12 stone my arse. Come on. Come on, me. Tiff. You're never 12 look, stone. I haven't weighed myself for a couple of years. You're look, never 12 okay, stone. Look, what, there you are. See? 13 14 near It reads wrong. It reads wrong. Does it read wrong, man? Oh, look, I've got a massive leather jacket. Oh. 12 8. We fighting, mate. Right, that means you're in the uh, the BMW, Lardass. Test one. Three goes each to see which car is fastest in a straight line. We got the radar gun to read the speed, and we positioned ourselves just before the corner. Break too early, and you won't get a very good speed. First up, the Nissan. 70 in second. And we're on now already. I think that was uh, about 110 miles an hour. 103? Oh, I got 110 on here. 110? Yeah, but that's a Japanese speedometer. You may be able to hold the throttle if you're a bit braver. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, he wants brave. He's going to get brave. Why, that's definitely 110. He's coming over the brow, flat out. He comes about 102, 103. Control on the brakes. 103 miles. I th do you look you were chicken about that corner coming up? Give over. I was extremely brave. Try and make a better start this time. Right, two runs of 103. I'm going to try flat changing where I'm going to keep my foot hard down in the throttle and almost just kind of kick the clutch in each gear change. It's not subtle, but it may give me an extra mile an hour. Come on, Jeffrey. There's 100 already. Here we go. Come on, that was better. Well, you're yeah, okay. You managed to get up to 105. 105. Two miles an hour faster. Did you feel it was a better start? I tried a new technique. No, oh, a bad. technique. Here, take the gun. I, I'll, I'm sure I can still beat it. Not as easy as you think. Oh, easy peasy. Not as easy. 105 miles an hour, no problem. 60 miles an hour in second gear. Hundred and one. He's looking smug. Well, you try to laugh, aren't you? But obviously, that's beating you. Because that was 106 miles an hour on a very reliable speed on which. Just 101. No. Yeah. You must try harder on your school report. 101. It was right on 108 on my 103 on here. Oh. Still too shy, Tiff. I've got one more play. Yeah, you've got a special one technique to learn. One more play. Weave, weave. <laughs> weaving, the weaving must make the speed gun think I'm going faster. 103. Again. So the younger and lighter man wins. Power sliding, I will beat you on power sliding. <laughs> Bring on test two, where skill comes into play. The power slide, the fun. The flip right, flip left, catch it, power it. Right, left, catch it. Again, we get three goes to drive as sideways as possible. The best attempt counts, and it won't be this one. Of the spin. With a difficult downhill approach, it's a great test of chassis balance. 
And now I'd got my eye in, I chucked everything at it. Tiff's third and final attempt was the best. I'm giving him 8 out of 10. My turn. Fifth's going to be hard to beat here, but we'll give it our best shot. I have to admit, his first attempt was a great start. I say, that was a stinker. Time to make a dance. A big flick. Probably a bit too much welly. Sorry! Sorry! Now he'd done the gardening, it was time for his last attempt. The biggest drift angle of the day has to be worth a nine. So the 350Z wins its second event. Oh, man, I love my job. But the final event is the most important. Come on. In a head-to-head, -head, no holds barred race, which of these cars is the best to drive? So far, the BMW Z4 has narrowly lost out to the Nissan 350Z in our tests of straight line speed and power sliding. <laughs> but the final challenge is the most important. A dogfight over two laps of the testing Cadwell Park circuit in Lincolnshire to discover which is the best driver's car. Is it the BMW or is it loudmouth in the Nissan? You ready, old boy? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh got a bit of axle track there. Too much wheel spin, too much noise. I can hear him, but he's not going to get me to the first corner. Oh, no, he's a bit feisty through there. Save with an early lead. Come on, Nissan. Greg! Oh, and straight away, the old BMW feels beautifully poised. The BMW in front looks very directional. Well, this is just a little bit dead on the way in. He's got no chance. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Watching through this corner and this deal, he's all sort of... It just doesn't look happy. Yeah, just that's the understeer through there. Get into his big fat slipstream. We got like the breaking area. And we're oh, oh, you little tinker. Got him nailed. Let's try him on the way out. No, 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 no. Oh, stuff it up the inside of the hairpin. Oh, he's coming down the leg on the brakes. Let's give him room. Let's try him, get him on the way out. Oh, he's, ah! <laughs> he's hanging on round the outside. He's like, oh, he's got through. Oh, it's the brakes. It's a great car, this, but the chassis just isn't isn't good enough, I don't think. Oh, he's down the inside. I'm going to have to blend. Oh, God, here he comes. Oh, and we've got a run on him. Extra speed. Oh, flat shoot. <laughs> Yes, the Nissan is cheaper and more powerful, but if we had to buy one of these roadsters, we'd both go for the Z4. It's nearly half a second quicker to 62 than the Nissan and simply feels a whole lot better when you're driving on the limit. It proves that power isn't 